right? So um, for those of you curious about how to sell your business, ultimately, you're going to want to touch base with Stephen here. But Stephen, come on up and um, impart your wisdom. Uh, thank you, Eric. I appreciate it. Can you hear me? Just project a little. All right. There you go. All right. So again, my name is Stephen Lesh. I'm a sales coach, trainer, and consultant for small business owners and sales professionals. I uh, really help people get to the next place of uh, where they want to be. It's all about success. Okay, whatever your definition of success is, I can help you with that. You're starting a business, I help people do it. Yeah. Can you hear me? Louder? Louder? Yeah. All right, we've got a yell a little bit. Okay. A mild mannered, that's the problem. All right, so what I want to do is talk about the keys to success right now, the foundations of success, that no matter what you do in life, you can benefit from it. And these keys to success, these foundations are with every single person that you know, you heard of, or you, or you admire, have used these skills. And once you master these skills, no matter what, you'll be successful in life. All right? So, question. First thing we talk about is connection with other people. All right? So what I do is I have these four bands on my arm, on my wrists. They're the four connections that we have with people. The first one is connecting with people is something in common. Once you find something in common with somebody, you can relate to them. Once you relate to them, they can start building a relationship with them. And that's most important. Does anybody know anything that have in common with me? I live in the shore. I'm 64 years old. I'm 6'4". Anybody have anything in common with me? All right, well, I live in an apartment. Anybody go in an apartment here? Right? Yes, no, maybe. What? No? House? I, I live in a house now, so we have something in common. <laughs> All right? Okay. Who has animals? Animals? What do you have? Cat, dog, I have two dogs. Mandy and, and what do you have? Dog, I have Mandy and, um, oh my gosh, she's going to be so upset that I forgot her name. Margo. Two little things. I take them every single day for a walk. Much. Much. That's the best kind. They live longer. They don't leave you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So there's a connection with every single person in this room I have a connection with. Because we're sharing this experience together. That's the important thing. Sharing connection with somebody is something you have a similar kind of experience with. You can talk about. You can share with other people. So we all have that same experience right now because we're in the same room. So when you talk to somebody about your business, you have to find that connection. You have to find that rapport that you can build with them. And how you do that is through questioning. You have to be curious. Once you're curious with things, then you can find out about things. Once you do that, you build that connection. The other thing about it is, how do you show your value? Once you build a connection with somebody, show them you have a connection and you want to be involved in them some way, some form. What do you do? You have to show them that you're worthy of it. So if you, have, if you have a client starting a business, how can you show someone that you should be the one that's to solve their needs? You keep your word. Okay, you do what you say you're going to do. Very simple. Other thing is being thoughtful. We lost that thing about thoughtful, about doing something extra that people don't know or appreciate yet until they found it. That's where they make yourself different from everyone else is when you're thoughtful with other people. And you're grateful for them. So you're grateful for their business. All right? The other thing is, how do you, how do you also prepare for adversity? Adversity is when something comes along that you don't expect, you don't prepare for, and it's too hard to do. You want to give up. So anybody starting a business, there's a lot of adversity there. A lot of adversity. Basically, it comes down to, do you want to go further? Do you want to give up? How do you prevent that is, you practice. Michael Jordan practices practice five to six hours a day. That's why he was the greatest. Okay? You practice when you sit down and talk to somebody about an elevator pitch. You practice that until you know it so well, you can do it anywhere. Blindfold. So those are things you work on every single day. The other thing is, the last thing is, is you're actually positive in your mind. How do you get that? You think positive thoughts. No matter what, you have to get your mind in a place where you practice positive thoughts. 
You practice it. You start to know what you're motivated by and what demotivates you. Because what stops you is not the motivation. It's being demotivated, something that happens during the day. Let's say you woke up, you're good mood, and then somebody gives you a hard time about something. That'll demotivate you for the whole day, maybe. Know what it is. Make allowances for it. Get past it. So, when we talk about those four things, we talk about the last one. Okay? And I mentioned this. It's being thoughtful and sharing your success with everyone. So, what I did was, everybody was, whoever wants, and I, I had about 50 here, is um, these bands. And one is, again, is making connections. One is preparing for adversity. Okay, how do you prevent things from happening? Or how do you, if they do, how do you handle it? The uh, showing your value to other people. And the other thing is positive mind. What we do is the last thing is, uh, put this down here for a second, is when we do, when we have success, no matter what it is, my mother was successful, even she didn't pass 10th grade. Okay, she became a manager, and she had three lovely children, one is standing in front of her. Okay. But she was successful, because she did what she wanted to do. What your success is defined by you. So if you want to be successful, you can't do it alone. You have to have people around you that like mind that want you to be successful, that help you, to support you. Very, very important. Probably one of the most important things you can do. So, I have a limited number of these things, and I know it's not popular to do to send out written notes, okay? And you think it's old school and it doesn't work. Let me tell you, 99% of the time, you're gonna open this note for 99% of the time. And they're gonna go through emotions that are gonna make them feel good. So what I did was, I have a card here, and it's a stamped envelope. All you have to do is put down a name of someone who supported you or supported you now in your success, whatever it may be. All right? So you write the name down, and you put in the mail. If you live in a home, you have the mailbox, and the mailbox has this little red arrow in it, a little box. Have you seen that? The mailbox? Lift it up, put the mail in there. All right, and this mail says, dear so-and-so, you've got to put in so-and-so. Thank you in advance for your support and my success. Thank you again, and then write your name. You put this in the mail, Two or, three later, two or three days later, you ask the person, did you get it? And I will tell you right now, if you do those two things, you ask them what, how they get it, and you, and you actually mail it, you have a 100% chance of getting more successful than you did if you didn't do it. I guarantee you that. Because these things separate you from everyone else, makes you feel important, and show them that you are someone that can actually show them that they are important. Anybody have any questions? No? None at all? Yep. Yeah, the, wrong, the red one is supercharging your mind, where you stay positive. Optimism, okay, motivation, and there's, there's a couple of other things, but it's really self care. Start thinking about how you keep your mind positive, breath, breathing, uh, med meditation. If you ask anybody who's successful, nine out of 10 times they meditate, all right? The second one is um, it, um, showing your value. How can you actually show people that you're worthy of their business or worthy of their attention? You communicate, communicate with them. You are, keep your word, you're thoughtful. Those things all add to it. Then you have, uh, you have prepare, oh, making connections, all right? And how do you do that again? Is asking questions, be empathetic, all right? Understand them, look at their, the way from their perspective. So I ask you, if you have any, any, any concern with anyone, any problems with them, parents give you a time, just take a second and think about their perspective on it. Their perception, the way they see it. Once you start doing that, then you start to see it differently. And it may change the way you act. The last one is preparing for adversity. That's having the knowledge and experience, actually do the work that you have to do. All right. uh, it's also prepare, uh, um, practicing, 
And it's also having confidence at the end of the day. That's what happens. So those are the four. And you know, if you want to have 50, 50 little bags of head. So anyone else? No questions? Any questions? Eric, have a question? I always have questions. <laughs> So, so you talk about support. So yep. we're talking about mentorship as well. Like yep. That's a support, yep. like mentors. Yep. So you have mentors here in your in, in your program here. This gentleman can be a mentor. I can be a mentor. Anybody that comes to these this um, uh, event event can be a mentor. So how would somebody ask for a mentor? They'll say, "Can you help me?" That's it. I, I work with everybody I work with is under thirty years old. All right. Anybody I work with is under 30 years old. And all I have to say is, help me, and I'm willing to put in the work. That's it. I'm willing to do what you suggest me to do to get successful. Very simple. But I don't want to waste my time on people who are not going to do it. I'm successful. I don't have time to waste on people who are saying, yes, I want to be successful, but not willing to do the work or change their behavior or enhance themselves or do something different to get to that point. Is that fair? Yes. Good. Thank you for that. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. So we're going to bring up a few more people. We're just going to reset the camera for a minute. Don't get rowdy. All right. But uh, here's what I'm going to say: is you know you can have.